All right, guys, we are live with the main event winner, Island Fight 60, UFC Fight Pass, Jacob Killer Kilburn. How you doing, my man? What's going on, man? It's good to see your face. Oh, man, it's been a while. <laughs> That's right. It's been a few days. It has. It has. First and foremost, how are you doing? How's your body feeling? How are you feeling mentally? Um, I know how much you wanted this win. It was a great victory for you. We'll get into the details in a second. But like I said, how are you? I feel fantastic. Uh, no injuries. Um, not, not from the fight anyways. I took no damage at all uh, in the fight. I think I maybe got touched uh, one time. And that was because I think at that point I had checked out as far as uh, respecting his, his power. Um, so yeah, I feel great on top of the world. Um, just waiting for some, some big news. Wow. Big news. It's coming. It's coming. Uh, we yeah. wrote about it on fightbananas.com. Uh, yeah, you gotta be next. Absolutely. Uh, the knockout Island fights 58 second round devastating overhand, right? Walk away. Uh, this fight main event. Columbus, Georgia, beautiful new huge arena, island fights, uh, UFC fight pass, main event, boom, minute 10 into the round, left hand hook, walk off, Uncle Dana's got to love it. Uncle Dana has to be a killer fan. I have a, literally a, a compilation of that same thing happening where I hit a guy, he falls over stiffens and I just walk away. I don't even finish. I've got, I've literally got like a highlight video full of just that, not TKOs, not submissions, not j j just with walk away knockouts. I mean, I'm like the Mark hunt of the featherweight division or, or, or apparently I'm the, I'm the Island fight. It's 150 pound champion because every fight I've ever done is a catchweight fight. So I'm the one, I'm the hunt, I'm the catchweight champion in Island fights. That's a good spot. That's a good spot. You could be worse, right? <laughs> um, talking about a good spot and how crazy it was. Uh, we were there uh, live together. It's getting a lot of buzz even now, a week later. The Island Fights weigh-ins. Uh, absolute bananas. Two different um, events happen. Two different brawls, scrums, if you can say. Uh, you were live in the building. Your wife was there live in the building. Your coaches were there live. How was it to just be around the weigh-ins at Island Fight 60? I tell you, there's something about just a, a real kind of off-the-cuff situation, just a, a, a real fight that breaks out that gets your heart going in a way that a sporting event just can't. Um, so you can watch two dudes fight in a ring with gloves on under a set of rules and you can watch a fight break out at the weigh-ins and the fight that broke out at the weigh-ins is way more like, Oh, Oh my goodness. It was uh, dude. It was crazy. Uh, apparently the weigh-ins are the place to be now from now on. Like we could, we could put together a, a highlight video just of the, the altercations at the weigh-ins and, and none of them were planned because, uh, I mean, yeah, just e even the, the fights that happened, they were three, four days ago. Th th those things couldn't have happened because some of those people weren't even on the card. So it was all real and authentic. And, and you got a bunch of guys that are really raw and just tense. And apparently when you look at somebody the wrong way or throw a robe at their face, a uh, fight breaks out. So yeah. That's it, right? Uh, talking about real and authentic, two things off the top of my head. Fight Bananas YouTube, That's uh, you can see everything. The bra's on there, tons of content. This video itself will be on there. Check also, it out. you can check out myfightshirt.com. You can check out yes. that killer shirt. That shirt is yeah. hot. It's one of the best-selling yeah. shirts on the website, so definitely, guys, we'll put the link underneath this video right now, myfightshirt.com with the killer shirt. Do it, because any day my stock could go up, and that means the price of those shirts could go up. And uh, you want to get it now while, while you middle class people can afford it because pretty soon I won't even be able to afford my own gear. Uh, it's just going to be so expensive. So and you guys need to stop and check that out right now. We've got multiple shirts for sale on there and uh, as well as a lot of your other favorite fighters. Um, you guys are already on the UFC roster, people that are about to break through. Um, just, just a whole library full of awesome gear that you can get. So check Absolutely. it out. 
Uh, Jacob Killer Kilburn, follow him on Instagram as well. We appreciate your time. Um, I definitely want to get into the fight. Uh, saw you before the fight. Uh, Island Fight 60 was such a great show. Great fighters on it. Chase Bowell with an unbelievable performance. Askar, Askar, uh, Jared Gooden. So all night long, you know, definitely was checking in with you, making sure everything was good in your locker room and everything. And one thing, if I can say, you pull the curtain back a little bit, you were so calm. Uh, you, yeah. you knew the moment. Uh, I, I really felt uh, a silent, confident uh, vibe from you the whole night. So if you can talk about that and then uh, get into that fight and you walk out to the um, the ring instead of the octagon. I love that Island Fights ring. You walk out and you're at the top there and you kind of stop there for at least three to four seconds. And you put the uh, a Stone Cold Steve Austin stare down on him. It was unreal. But so get into the quiet confidence you had all week long <laughs> and just the fight itself. Um. You get, you get those, you know, you'll, you'll see a, like a documentary of, uh, you know, some guy who kills his neighbor or something like that. And, you know, then they'll interview the, the whole street and they'll say something like, you know, well, he was always a quiet one. And, uh, and then some genius in the room says, you know, this quiet ones you got to watch. And there's something to that. And like George Carlin, the committee would point out, you know, if there's a guy in the room banging a machete on the table, you should probably keep an eye on him too. But the quiet ones, you really do. And what you said to me about that, that calm confidence, you know, it's your, it's the day of your fight, the night, the hours leading up. Okay. Now it's the minutes before. And somehow you're still just chilling, smiling versus the guy that's just psyching himself up, screaming, pounding his chest, yelling the words. It's my time, baby. It's my time over and over. All that says to me is I'm scared to death of what I'm about to do, so I'm convincing myself that it's my time. Whereas uh, I know, <laughs> just let's just go beat this guy. It's just, I mean, uh, yeah. So the weeks leading up, months leading up, there's a lot of banter uh, back and forth on Facebook and Instagram and different shows and uh, word of mouth and, and whatnot. <laughs> and then even, um, you know, face-to-face -face and other things. So yeah, calm, confident, nothing to stress about. If you threw me into a basketball court, I would be stressed because I don't know what I'm doing. If you put me into a fist fight, I'm, I'm the most confident person in the world. So the walkout, we get to the ramp and, uh, you know, I just thought I, I, I broke him at the weigh-ins. I, I broke him just in, in every way, psychologically, and I thought I'm going to get in one more time and I'm going to stop. And I was prepared to stand there for, I was going to stand there for 10 minutes until the commission said, sir, your song's been done playing for three minutes. You have to come down now. I was going to stand there and look into his soul until he broke eye contact. And it took about five seconds and he looked away. And, uh, and then I said, well, we can continue walking. Uh, but yeah, I made it to the top of the stairs. And before I went down to the ring, I just wanted to look at him and let him know, like, I'm about to get in there with you, and I, I hope you understand that everything you've said leading up to this, you're about to have to, to back it up. And I just wanted to look at him, and uh, he broke eye contact. And uh, so at that point, I knew we're about to have some fun. <laughs> so, yeah. Wow. Uh, one thing I just talked to Michael Beast Boy Davis about, he had a great win, that knock off, uh, knockout walk-off, a little bit kind of like a killer kill burn way, third round Thomas Gifford, uh, unbelievable performance by Mike. Um, it's about moments. Uh, life is about yeah. moments. MMA is about moments. <clears throat> Wins and records kind of come and go. Uh, everyone knows where we were when Diaz choked out Connor. Mazadov knocking uh, the knee into uh, Ben Askren's face. GSP begging on the ground for Uncle Dana for the title shot. Like, we all remember these moments. You yeah. just had two unbelievably humongous moments in a row. Is it time? Is it... Does those moments mean more to you than just a win, a unanimous uh, decision? Felt great in there. Do you uh, ravel in that? You just had two humongous Jacob Killer, Killer Burn moments. Yeah. Uh, you don't want to ever be prideful or brag, but it is something special to know that, you know, I, I'm the guy that, well, I'm the reason that people are making memes. You know, do you want to see a dead body and that they're floating around? Uh, this viral clip has been seen by thousands of people in just a few days. Um, people are 
I'm not recommending that you do this because it's not exactly legal, but people are uh, copying the the fight itself from Fight Pass and uploading it to YouTube. You know, random. You, I mean, like there, there has been YouTube channels in foreign countries that have been started with the sole purpose of uploading my fight. Um, weird. It, 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 it's it's really cool. Um, so it is meaningful um, because there's people in every state and every city and uh, every country who are seeing those clips knowing, I don't know anything about that guy, but whoever that guy is, he's doing it. Keep an eye out for the, the bearded guy that wears purple shorts and kills everybody. Um, and so, yeah, it's cool. I don't know if I got off track on your question, but yes, life's about moments and uh, you gotta, you gotta really bask in the cool ones. And right now we are uh, on, on a good streak. And uh, like always, I, I always put together these really big uh, win streaks, impressive win streaks. And then uh, we have this big learning experience. And then we go back to put, and we're on one of those streaks again. But uh, we're trying to make our learning experiences happen through the wins and not, not go back. So, anyways, it's good, man. There's a, uh, I've kind of come into my own. And you can just ask my coaches, my training partners, or whatever. It, my, my time is now. And, um, I think you could throw me in there with anybody. It's gonna be it's gonna be this, one of those same cool. Um, and this fight was was a little different because I told everybody it was gonna be the left hook, uh, not publicly, but like every I, I told I must have told a hundred people face to face I'm gonna knock him out with the left hook. I thought why left hook? I thought you have a right. I said I've got every I've got all the skills. I've, I've I have all the tools. A left hook is gonna get the job done against him. Just watch. And uh, so yeah. Uh, not only are we having the cool moments, but we're uh, doing a little bit of Mystic Mac stuff, too. So That's always fun. That's always fun. Um, it was a great week. It was a great night for you. UFC Fight Pass, Island Fight 60, main event winner, Jacob Kilburn. Um, one last co- kind of question that I do want to give you the floor for two minutes. I'd love to, for you to talk about your gym. Uh, I know that you're doing a private here in 10, 15 minutes. Anything, any kind of information you want to get out there to the world, the floor is yours. The last question I kind of have for you is the momentum that the FRM uh, Island fights Dean tool, this momentum that, uh, you know, Mike Davis is a part of that. And it's just this, even on the biggest fighters in the world, the Mazadovs and, you know, everything, everyone underneath, and just everyone that's a part of this Dana White contender series is build that, uh, you know, you're kind of in right now. You're in the middle yeah. of it. How great does that feel that, wow, I, I feel like I'm on the right side, the right team, the right, uh, you know, you got the great people around you. And sometimes it's not what you know in life, it's who you know. So oh, yeah. how's it going to be in this great hurricane of positive and successful people? That's what people, I had somebody tell me last night that they don't believe me. I was like, well, why would you not? I, it, being managed, my, my management is the same team. The, the same people, the same company that managed John Jones and Yoel Mero and, 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 you know, Anthony, all these guys, you know, Jorge Masvidal, whoever, you name it, all, all the dogs that are at the top of the game right now, I'm on that team. Yeah. We're represented by the same people. Um, they're my equals. They just, uh, they just... Oh, we lost you, Jacob. Hey, it was a great interview. Uh, you're saying something about so, equal. Yeah. Oh, we lost you there for around 10 seconds. We got you back. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's a bad signal through here. Um, so all, just all those guys, those top dogs of the game, when you think of them, you should think of me because we're represented by the same people. We're on the same team. We have the same management. Um, you know, I, I use the analogy of they've got the promotion at work. But we're still coworkers. We're equals, and I'm 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 up for promotion now. So, when you think of the John Jones and, and the UL Romero's and all those of the game, thank you, Jacob Kilburn, because they're they're on the same team, represented by the same people. Um, so yeah, it's it's cool, man. Um, and that's why you've got to have the skills and you've got to have the connections, and I've got both of them. So it's wow. uh it's just really cool. It's it's a blessing to be where I'm at and uh, have the circle that I have 
and um, you know things are just going really well right now. Well, we yeah. couldn't be happier for you here at Fight Bananas. Big fans of you personally and in your fight career. Jacob, uh, like I said, the floor is yours. Myfightshirt.com, Killer Kilburn on Instagram. But anything else you want to say or get off your chest? Anything you want? <clears throat> yeah. So, okay. Go to myfightshirt.com and grab those shirts. Uh, go to andstillnutrition.com and, and tell tell them that Jacob sent you. Uh, hit them up on Facebook and ask them if they got any deals going on. Maybe they'll hook you up because you know me. Um, if you're a fan of shaving and manly products go to manscaped and, and tell him that david sent you and he can hook you up with a uh, with a promotion code 20 um, percent off by the way yes when, and when you guys are uh just right now dana white sean shelby mcmahon i know you're out there watching i am a product of hard work and no easy roads so we've got guys in the area um having a win over people that have winning records doesn't necessarily always tell the whole story because if you fight people that have winning records, but everybody that they have wins over are against debut fighters or people with losing records, then you got to go a little deeper. You're welcome to go as deep as you like with me. Check the records of the records of the records. I have not had an easy path. I, I, you line them up and I knock them down and I do that to the guys who lined them up and knocked them down. Um, and, and it goes on and on the, the, the toughest people in the world at my weight class, not just in the region, but in the world who have beat the toughest people in the region and in the world. Um, that's, that's who I've had to come through. And, uh, so right now we're eight and two, my eight and two would be the same as somebody else's 20 and two, just because, um, we haven't had any any easy fights. So I'm so proud of that eight and two record man. Uh the only guy that I haven't finished is Elvin Brito. If we fought again, I know I know I would get him. Um and uh and that fight itself was the was the one that got um Mike Davis into the UFC. So I've got I've got two wins over that guy. So uh over Elvin. So yeah. I'm on fire right now. It's my time. And uh if you're watching this interview right now. When you're done, click share, send it to five of your favorite friends and tell them, hey, you need to check this guy out. Follow his Instagram, killer underscore Kilburn. And uh, yeah, you are witnessing. This is this could be the last interview that we do before I'm in the UFC. So um, you're participating in history right now. Uh, thanks wow. to everybody at Fight Bananas, Island Fights, all you guys that are just uh, that helping me kind of um, continue the push, uh, and, and get the, you know, I'm, I'm putting in the work and you guys are doing the work on your side and just as a team, um, it's, it's, it's really good, man. Teamwork makes the dream work. That's right. There you go. Jacob, thank you so much for giving us your time. We uh, appreciate you. Continue success. Stay blessed. And we'll talk to you very soon. Appreciate it guys. Have a good one, man. Later brother.